for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Do they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. Whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, The knowledge course. keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband. And Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. We can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were mucky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skag, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Yonar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, a giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, and sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Oh. Ah, room near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Ah! something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to Back in tragically my incorrect interpretations. I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. 
Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, I hope. At your service. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if... Well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Whatever you need. with pride. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I can't be quite sure what the giants meant by any of Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Yodenhan? The Yodenhan? question is, how you'll ever the make Tyr believe The leading it. armies that wrecked. <laughs> I believe <laughs> Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better yes. mood. I was a little overwhelmed before. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? I 
never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. Mm -hmm. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh. You, really must. you know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. Imagine it's simple, it's dangerous. So if you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to... Dress. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. Okay.